right, so today I am talking about um, e-tailers, websites that you can buy nail polish, a little bit discounted, um, who's reliable, who might not be so much. I get questions all the time about where I buy polishes, um, where are some good places to buy polishes inexpensively um, and whatnot. So I'm going to be covering mainly mainstream polishes in this one. There are not a lot of websites where you can get indies. Um, and I think like none of them are ever going to be discounted. You can go to places like Store Envy um, and search for D-stashes. A lot of people will post D-stash pages. Then you can find used polishes or polishes that weren't used, but someone bought it and decided they didn't want it anymore. Um, those are probably the best places to get indies discounted. Um, blog sales as well. Keep an eye open for blog sales. But as far as indies go, you've got like... Live Love Polish and Harlow and & Co. and what, Color for Nails, I think, is a distributor. Um, LaRoe doesn't have other brands anymore, but like you can get indie polishes through them. Um, really good if you're international and you don't want to pay international shipping because usually from the individual international shipping is really expensive. Um, but as far as discounted goes, you're not going to pay any less. You might even pay a little bit more to buy them through those places. They're just a little more convenient because you can get more than one brand like for one shipping fee. But for the most part, if you want to buy indies, you have to buy them directly from the person that's making them, unless you find them in a blog sale or a D-stash. So as far as uh, mainstream polishes go, here's where I tend, I get mine. This is where I usually go to get mine. My first rule, I mean in general, is like if I'm looking for a collection that's new, um, that I want to try to get it really quick before anybody else has it so I can review it right away, um, then I will like Google and I'll search. If I find a website that I have never purchased from before and I have no idea if they're legitimate or not, if they accept PayPal, I will usually give them a go. Just because PayPal is really, really good about protecting buyers in cases of, you know, not getting your items, not, you know, having them pocket your money, not ship your products. So I will, I'll take the risk if the place accepts PayPal. If they don't accept PayPal, I won't do it if it's one I haven't heard of before. As far as new collections go, I do buy new collections from eBay on occasion. There are a couple like rules to this though. I only buy new collections on eBay. eBay is known for fake OPI and stuff like that, but the thing with the fake OPIs is that they're usually like really popular colors that are sold out and hard to find, or they're just like a bunch of random polishes put in an OPI bottle and the color doesn't even match the, the name and it's just like totally off. But as far as new collections go, a lot of nail supply stores will sell new collections on eBay because they get them like way before the release and they'll, they'll sell them online before they're supposed to. And I do tend to get a lot of OPI collections and stuff from eBay there. I can get PR from OPI, but it takes a really long time. A lot of times I get impatient and I, if I find it somewhere else, I'll get it. The same thing goes for China Glaze too. Like I get the PR stuff from China Glaze, but I never actually request the samples because I usually get it from somewhere else. But here's the thing with eBay. I'd say it's pretty safe if you're buying new collections. I have bought new collections from eBay multiple, multiple times and I've never had an issue. But what I do do before, and I'm talking like SE, China Glaze, and OPI. I've all bought new collections from all three of those brands from eBay from various sellers. I never, I always check out as a guest. I actually don't even have an eBay account. So I don't, I couldn't tell you which sellers are which or which sellers I've purchased from. But here's what I do to kind of like make sure. I check out their pictures and I make sure that the colors look like press releases that I've seen. I go through the eBay description and I make sure that the names of the colors that they're listing match the names of the colors in the press releases. Like the last ones that I bought from eBay was the um, Essie Bridal Collection. If there isn't a press release, <laughs> then I will take some of the names listed in the description and I will search for them and see if they came from any other collection other than the one that the seller is advertising. So that's what happened with these. Um, the Essie Bridal Collection. I found it on there and I was a little nervous because I hadn't seen anything about it, what it was supposed to look like, what the names of the colors were going to be. I did do some Google searching and I found one website that had posted um, like a sneak peek with the na what the names of the Essie Bridal Collection was going to be and all six of the polishes that were listed on the eBay listing matched that blog um, for names. So I went ahead and got it and it's the Bridal Collection, it's fine. That's the big thing though, if you're can find a website that lists what the names of the polishes in the collection are going to be and they match what's on the eBay seller, you're probably going to be good. And then if you can't find a website that lists the polishes, just Google the names. Like, like this one is between the seats. So just Google Essie between the seats. And if it doesn't come up with anything, chances are it's probably new. I mean, it could be totally fake also, but chances are it's new. 
Um, if it comes up with something like this was listed as Bridal Collection 2016, if you searched Essie Between the Sheets and it comes up with the 2010 Bridal Collection, then that's probably not the new one. So it's just, it's just common sense and just doing some research before you put your money into it. But yeah, I always try to cross-reference press releases and um, what's listed on eBay. Um, as far as OPI goes, btysales.com is a website that I've worked with a couple times and she always gets um, eBay, eBay. She always gets OPI collections really, really early. Like I actually, the last time she sent me something, she sent me a little swatch card with swatches of the OPI fall collection. Um, so I already know what those are going to look like. It's in my car. It's in my car. Or else I would show it to you. But she gets um, collections really good. The first time I purchased from her, there was a, a mix-up. It was the Hello Kitty collection, and I got like a few of the wrong polishes, and I was missing some. But she was really, really cool about it. Customer service was really good. She cleared it up right away, got me my replacements. No issues there at all. So another website, this one does not carry OPI, but they do carry SE Orly and China Glaze. Head to Toe Beauty. And I have a lot of people asking about Head to Toe Beauty. And I've been buying from Head to Toe Beauty for like six years with absolutely no issues. I probably purchase from them like, I don't even know, like 10 or 15 times a year. And I've had one broken bottle in my entire time purchasing from them and they replaced it and it, I had it like in my hand within a couple days. They ship super, super fast. Their prices are, their shipping is a little bit high, but their actual prices for polishes are really cheap. They have China Glaze for like 325, SE is like five or six something. Orly is, I don't know what Orly is because I don't buy them from there very often. They ship so, and this is, I'm talking, keep in mind, you guys, I'm talking domestic U.S. shipping because that's the only thing I have any experience with. I can't tell you about international. I can't tell you about, like, Canada or, you know, European shipping. I have no idea. I've never lived <laughs> in any other international destination and asked for polishes to be shipped to me, so I could not tell you. I'm talking about U.S. domestic shipping here. But Head to Toe Beauty ships super, super fast. It's great customer service. I've never had an order wrong. Um, I've never gotten a wrong polish. I've never been missing a polish. Um, they're just, they're fantastic. So there are two other websites that are similar to Head to Toe Beauty. People, a lot of people buy from. I have purchased from each of them at some point. It has been years and years and years though. So I have no idea if they're still good, if they're still reliable. I don't even really remember exactly what my entire experience was, but those are 88beauty.com and transdesign.com. I think they also have Orly, SC, and China Glaze. I don't think either one of them carries OPI anymore. I know a lot of people that purchase from them. I know that they are still up and running, but I do not know um, any recent experiences with anyone. I have not purchased from them personally in a very long time because Head to Toe Beauty fills like all of my needs. So yeah, those are just some websites where you can go to find new collections, inexpensive, slightly discounted mainstream polishes, and some tips if you are going to be buying on eBay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it was helpful. I will talk to you later.